Hello friends! My name is Konstantin and this is a video about my first artificial stone art experiment. I am from Riga, Latvia. I have studied in primary school of arts, but after finishing it I had a pause in art till 2014 when I made some experiments with stencil type of art. My first drawing was my son's picture. Since then again I had a long pause till this time. I am interested in history and especially in architecture. And some time ago I found out about such thing as artificial stone technique from specially colored plaster. It is also called scagliola or stucco marble, which is known from at least the 17th century. Many historical buildings have decoration with it and sometimes it is so good that it is being presented as a real stone. I decided to try it and to combine it with my previous stencil art experiment. For the first job I also chose an old piece of art a piece from Michelangelo's art, the creation of Adam in Sistine Chapel's ceiling, where God's and Adam's fingers point at each other and Adam need only to make his finger a little bit straight to reach the God. I prepared a sketch on PC using different free image editing programs. I borrowed a little bit of blue pigment from my wife's brother garage and I bought the cheapest white plaster for wood. First I tried it on the glass but it stuck to it very much, so I decided that it wouldn't be a choice. By the way, did you know that Michelangelo first made his fingers touching each other, but later after demand he changed it leaving in that way that God's finger is straight and Adam's not, symbolizing humans who have to just straighten his finger to reach the God. That could symbolize that reaching God is under human free will and maybe only small effort is needed to do that. I decided to make it straight on the paper. I made the main drawing in several layers and after that I covered it fully with white plaster layer, about 2-4 mm. Paper deformed because of humidity in the plaster and made cracks. At the beginning I was disappointed about that and even started to make another one, covering the main drawing with formed gypsum. But later I realized that it could become an effect instead of defect. When first layer dried, for extra hardness I covered it with fiberglass net and with more crack resistant plaster made for thicker layers. After that I made extra wooden frame on the back that it would be easier to work with and move without being afraid to break it. I cut the necessary size just by the wooden frame and sanded it with sandpaper. Then it took me an effort to wash away sketch paper because it glued very well and did not go off easily. While washing the blue color pigment also colored the white parts, so again I struggled to wash it carefully off the white parts. I sandpapered all the surface and covered it with special wax for plaster. I made the layer too thick so I had to heat the surface with a construction fan to spread wax more even. After that I polished it by hands with simple cloth. And that's it. I also finished my second similar work where I poured more liquid gypsum plaster over the main drawing. And it came without cracks and with a more even surface. Only in this case God's hand came less visible because I had to fix it several times and I sandpapered this part too hard. Again, it could be considered symbolically because it's God's hand. So this is it. If you liked it, press like, write comments if you want and press follow to see my next art experiments. More will come.